And you're alive. Alive? Yeah, you're alive. I'm alive? Yeah, you're alive and also live. Is your airbrush cleaned out? Yes. What's up, y'all? Y'all. Who was it that said they liked our y'all Sweden? No, people from Scotland. Oh, Scotland. Apparently, that is their favorite USA term. Y'all. Y'all. Not a bad term to like, I suppose. What's up, Sheila? Robin, Eddie, Sam, Kim. Everybody's tuning in. Michelle, Linda, Kenneth, Kelly. So, hey Nancy, hey BJ, Misty, Tanya. Sheila sold three pieces today. Sheila. Sheila J. That's awesome. No better feeling than selling your artwork. Except for maybe a sippy sippy and selling your artwork. All right, so while Jeff is doing this, I'm gonna show you what's up with yesterday's pieces. So, this is this piece from yesterday, the ocean. It's not bad, it, it's set perfectly. This is Paula Walls. And the other piece was my attempt at the elements. Let me get on this side. I'm in the way of my lighting. Um, it's supposed to be elements turned into everything patriotic ever made. So, merp. And one of my main reasons for doing this piece was to test out Resi Blast in, in, um, master cast resin they're made by eli kim so i wanted to see what's up and i'm really growing on this master cast because let me show you today i was practicing some geodes and i did this pour at like let's say i probably at like what time did you get home today two so I did this at like 12, 30, one o'clock. And it's, it's done, like it's set up. So I'm sold on Mastercast 121 in terms of geoding because it's a thicker resin. I can pour it. It, it has, um, uh, what is it? An air bubble extension speller in it. I can't remember the actual technical real life terms, but it's a thicker resin so I can make better lines defined and it sets up in like five hours. It's bananas. So I'm sold on that. Now let's talk about Resi Blast. This did exactly what I thought it would do. It's still got stuff and I don't think I used that much in it but it's still like a soul food cook it's like um, I was eating fried chicken around this and it just got I would have to wash it with like Dawn dish soap because it's a degreaser and then I would take alcohol and wipe it down and then I'd sand it and I'd have to wipe it down again 
and then do a flood coat and hope that I got all the silicone resi blast residue off of the piece. I don't know. Let's see if you guys can see this. Let's see. Can you see these dimples right here and right here and right here and right here? It's residue. So, it's still something I can control, which I'm not a control freak, but I just want to control it. Impossible. So, that's what Resi Blast does to everybody that's like, have you tried Resi Blast? What do you think about Resi Blast? That's, that's that. But I'll try it again. I'm gonna try it in um, another brand of resin. We'll see if it works differently there. So we'll see, I'll do it again. What's up Rusty, glad you made it, Greg. Uh, beyond I I when I contacted them I just when you go to the sample page I just clicked on every sample that they offer and I've heard recently that people have gotten the same issue that I had they'll send you like a pamphlet of all the samples and not actual samples so you have to just email them again and be like yo where's my samples I don't want to read about it I want to use them so like, do you think they do that on purpose so just in case it's, you know, somebody that isn't serious or... I don't know. You know, somebody that's not going to follow up. I don't know. know. And then they sent some, a bunch of stuff to somebody that doesn't care and they get it and... I don't know. I don't know. Um, we're finally getting used by Texas Coast to our name. My, uh, my brother is sending me 12 of these blanks. So if you guys want a Texas State Coaster, put your sippy sippy on. Ideas, I don't know if just the 91% alcohol will break down the silicone, but... Give it a shot. You may have to hit it with Dawn. Elena got her giveaway piece yesterday. Amazing. Debbie got her sticks today. Nora, I, I'm not sure what the deal is with Resi Blast. I, I read the instructions on the bottle and I'm pretty sure I used it exactly per how it said so I don't know what the deal is I'm gonna try to use less of it and do another pour just to see if it was maybe operator error or just maybe a bad batch we'll see that's awesome Anita hey Leah what's up tiger mouse Wandering Art, welcome. Look at that. that, those burns come right off of there. Well, now we got some sticks to use. What's your favorite pearlescent white? Mm -hmm. I think our favorite so far has been Jacquard. Honestly. Jacquard Pearlex is a really good pearlescent right white. Mary Jane, I know the flake stuff's pretty awesome. Uh, 
Um, Edward, I think yours went out today. I'll check when I get off of here and send you an email with confirmation numbers. We usually like to let our painting set for at least at least, least a week. A week, yeah. So, Sharon, just so you know, they'll be out. We're for the people that ordered sticks, we're getting more in tomorrow. I went through and packaged everything. We'll be sending out all the things tomorrow as well. Um, Jenny wants to know how your commission piece turned out. Uh, so I, I took it to the restaurant. Uh, it's a place called Cretia's here in uh, Dallas, over there in uh, uh, Bishop Arts District. Uh, really nice place. Real, the desserts, the cupcakes, like I want to use the F word, they're amazing. Um, but anyways, <laughs> they weren't there. The, the mother wasn't there. Uh, the girl that uh, purchased it from me wasn't there, but their aunt was there. And I told her the story about it. She wanted to know what the what the title was and what I showed it to you guys last night and how emotional you guys got. But I left, and then I get a text message from Celeste, the girl that bought it from me, and she said that her aunt was crying when she got there. <laughs> I felt bad, like, it, it's one of those bittersweet things, like, oh my gosh, I, I feel bad, but at the same time, your artwork makes somebody emotional. Um, and then her mom saw it and loved it, and, and then I told her that was actually us, because we had to take the photograph to get that actual pose. Mm -hmm. And she loved it. Um, does Jacquard White sell good? It depends on how you use it. If you mix it into the resin, it does not sell. Um, if you blow it over the top of your resin piece, like dust it, and then hit it with a heat gun, it will disperse and sell. So it's all how you work it. But in terms of like sparkly pearlescent white just in terms of the color jacquard is our favorite so far that's so funny like this paint is so like there's there's really not a lot of pigment in this like it doesn't even change the Can you color try the Vallejo? i've already put no. oh, i mean i guess you could let's see but it, this looks transparent as well too I mean, that's what that means. You can see through But we'll see. I just want to make a really bright. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it just looks like it made it lighter. Barbara said, don't feel bad. That's what the painting was supposed to do. What's up, D? Lisa, your lupus pour was really great. You should be very proud of it. What's up, Deb? Beyond, we look forward to seeing that. John, what's up, what's up? You didn't miss anything yet, Jeff's just mixing colors. All that I did so far was go over what happened yesterday and how the pieces turned out. What's up, Megan? What are you thinking, B? Um, I love this teal. I haven't used this teal yet from Artist Zoo. Real bright. Like it looks motion. It is a really bright blue, amazing teal. I'm sure they can't hear you, especially with the sucker in your mouth. But I'll just repeat what you say so they can hear. I'm almost done. Sorry, guys. Do mica soap pigments work like any other pigment? We used um, this one yesterday, and Brambleberry is mainly for soaps. It says Brambleberry soap making supplies right on the label, and it is pretty amazing. 
Um, we've used this mermaid blue in a few different pieces. I'm trying to look over my shoulder at which one may be up there. I'm pretty sure I used this in the geode. It's great. It works just like any other mica. John, I will definitely follow you on Instagram. Amy said, hey, what is the red you used the other day? Also love the sucker. The red I used the other day was Sassy Red by Larez. What's up, Elaine? Denny said, I'm on here as long as I can keep my eyes open. Today was a son of a nutcracker day at work. And I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that means rough day. All right. Deborah said, opinion on the Viva decor you got from Sherry the other day. Are you talking about that Maya Gold Viva that had the teal with all this, the flex in it, Deb? Because if you're talking about that, love it. Yes, Deb, that, love that stuff. Jeff has used it a few times since we got it. It's pretty amazing. I'm going to try to list the colors that he's using tonight in the description box, but everything's, he mixed almost. This is what I'm using, like, just raw. I think I'm going to use it tonight. Definitely this chocolate. Ron asked what the Larez website name is. I can't think of it offhand, but I'm sure somebody in this feed can link. The Larez website. Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Also, Adia says, Jeff, thanks for the suggestion on photographing your pieces outside work like a charm. Yes, you're welcome. Megan said, my son Wes loves you guys. He wants to know what kind of lollipop. Blow pop. I think it was just a great blow pop. Yeah. Kind of the gum in the middle. Yeah, John, they're, I haven't used that many of their micas, but their pigment paste are bananas. Nancy, you may have to send them an email because sometimes they like to just send you an info packet instead of the samples. What's up, Judy Blaze? Any plans on trying Oops Paints as an experiment? What's up, Laura no, Taylor? How I, are you? I don't understand why, did, why oops, oops paints are mainly like, it's just like a, a really off weird color that people didn't like when they made it, uh, or it wasn't the right color that they had, had made for them. So it's normally like a off tan or a really weird colonial blue or some weird brown, like, I mean, you could use it as a base, but I, I wouldn't necessarily use it to put in resin, unless you're just, you know, wanna do a solid color with it. I think the idea is most that, can you use like an interior wall house paint? I don't see why not, I mean, it's acrylic paint, right? Like yeah, Deborah Cox wanted to know, so I told her we would give it a shot. We will definitely do it this week, Deb. I think we actually have a couple of those cans. That that color and that wall, no, we made that color. Yeah. I mean, it'd still be the same. Teal. That purple is oops on that wall. Oh, yeah, it is. SusannaDanks.com. Edward says, you should make your own yellow called bananas. Bananas! Actually, we're talking to Color Obsession about doing a yellow called 
Bananas. Bananas. They couldn't see my hands, but it was a very exciting hand gesture. Thank you, Toby. Now, looks like I'm losing room. Yep. Let me just wrap these up. You don't want to get dripping drippy on them. No, those might be a little wet, so. All the that's what she said, people's. package today. I, it didn't have any names on it. So thank you to whoever sent us these um, painting triangles. I'll be using them for my pour because Jeff already has push pins in his. Idea said I admire the hustle you guys display. I don't know that you can really be an artist, a living artist, without some level of hustle. I feel like you kind of have to have hustle to get your name out, to get your artwork out. It's part of the game. What's up, Jenny? Send us uh, an email with Darlene. Try to waterfall pour. So you can send us an email at Thornton at artist till death .com. Two T's, two L's. Um, so that we can see it. I don't think you can post a video on this thread, unfortunately. Use a different bottle. Wandering Art wants to know, I think that's little Miss Marie, wants to know when you first started selling your work, did you price it lower? I mean, of course, I mean, you just, because you, you really don't know, you know, what to sell it for. You don't know what somebody's going to buy it from you for. Um, and that, it's always, that's the hardest thing for artists to do is price their own work. Um, it's tough. It's, it's very tough. It's, you know, you think about how much time you put into it. You think about how much time it took you to learn how to do it. So... I would just start it, you know, whatever the supplies are, and double that. Possibly add fifty dollars onto that just to just to see what the price looks like, because that's a big deal too. Like, if, if what it would look like. Let's say you put fifty dollars into it, so you double that. It's a hundred, and then you add twenty-five, fifty. What looks better? 150, 125. There's a two in there before the five, so that looks a lot friendlier than 150. 125 looks awesome. Basically, so, have as many low numbers in your price as possible. Yeah. Kind of trick the, trick the mind. John said he had to call 911 today because he's almost out of art resin. Edward says that he doesn't want to work his normal job anymore, just wants to make art and sell it. It can be done. 
You have to eat a lot of ramen in the beginning, but it can be done. Jenny, you're really going to like those um, Doc Martens. The iridescents are really nice. Keep in mind, though, that they're really pastel. Deb says, maybe you guys can make a Facebook page for everyone to share their work. That is not a bad idea, and I will get started on that for you guys. Beyond says, how do you get past the small things? Like for me, there are things I notice that I want to mark down for, but there are things that people would probably never notice. That's what you just keep to yourself. Um, that's the worst thing artists can do is point something out or if you feel, that's the funny thing because it feels like it's, you know, it's a, a piece of wood sticking out of your artwork because you see it. It's such a mental thing. but. I guarantee nobody else sees it. Maybe another artist that does that kind of work, but you don't worry about that person. Um, just leave it alone, and if you if it bothers you that much, fix it or just fire sell it. Just put it cheap and and sell it. Get it out of your face. You don't you don't want that. You should present that piece of artwork to a friend of yours and be like, what do you think? And if they don't notice within the next like two minutes of looking at it, then it's not gonna be noticed. Yeah. Janice said, if I have dimples in my epoxy, could I sand it and do an acrylic pour on it? You can. You can sand it and do a resin pour on it. Lost in North Portland said, in school I was told supplies plus 400%. God damn. The, I've heard that too, but that's for an established artist, I think. I think once you're starting out and you just want your name out there, you want to make just something back for your time and the cost that you put in it, I think that... Just get an idea first of what people's reactions. You know, if you if you quote a price and they come back with, man, I, that's not really in my range, then you say, well, tell me what what is your budget and let's work with that and maybe I can get you something a little smaller or less detail. Um, if they don't answer you at all, then obviously it's way out of their budget. And rude. Um, and then if they answer you right back, like sold, just know that you probably could have added fifty to a hundred dollars to that. For next time. For next time, yeah. Nancy, I understand losing health insurance is not good, but welcome, Jackie. Natalie says, my mom sold my first and only. It was a coaster. They live in a retirement home now. A sale is a sale. Yeah. Thank you so much, John. Somebody somewhere is going to like your artwork. The, the, the expression, another man's garbage is another man's treasure, is 110% true. Laura says, it goes, Jeff is 100% right. It goes for men and women. Somebody somewhere, no matter hot, how hot that person is, somebody is sick of them. Or somebody loves them. <laughs> Just saying. Idea said, never tell people it's easy or anyone can do it. That's true, except for on our this. We're here to tell you guys that you can do it. On this channel. John gave us $10 and said, sippy, sippy on me today. Sweet! And you know what's crazy is that liquor store down the street from us delivers. Until they close. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that until probably like two weeks ago when I went in there. And they were like, 
you know we live right down the we live at the south side and I'm like what so I've learned not to make all the colors at once I'm sorry that Envirotech set up on you so fast. Megan just completed her first commission today. Awesome, congrats. Hi, Just Jody. Agreed, Tiger Mouth. Hey, Clara. The colors that Jeff is using today are... I have no idea. He decided to go rogue and mix up his own colors earlier. And it's a combination of... Um, those. Just a stack of colors. But I will go through and let you guys know what he ended up working with. What Did you use any regular colors? You're using teal, right? No, I'm not using teal. Um, I decided against it. Yeah, I think it, it is mostly acrylics and high flows. Thank you so much, Nancy. Hey, Pam. You're not too late. We just showed what we did yesterday, how the pieces turned out, and Jeff just started this piece, so you're good. Rod said, poor people in the house. <laughs> John, the mixing cut brand is HDX. Nancy, you can use plexiglass, just sand the plexiglass a little bit with like a 220 or 400 grit sandpaper. It should work out just fine. Hey, Christy. Khaleesi, we do sign our artwork. For pours, we sign on the side. Sometimes. Sometimes if it's, if, it's, if it's a large enough piece and there's a nice spot where it would look nice being signed, we'll definitely sign it lower right-hand corner. Just because it'll look nice. It looks a little more professional and kind of artsy more like that, I, I think. I don't mind showing people who, who made it. That is the one thing I do not like about having these tacks in the bottom. Is it's so slippery. Mm -hmm. Deborah, yeah, you definitely, if you're thinking about getting into art full time, a website is a good thing to look into getting. And so you have to check into web domains, name availability. There's a whole lot of stuff that goes into it, so it's definitely up there on a priority list. Fun fact. I've been doing this how long? I don't know. A long time. And I just got my first website after I met her. <laughs> I never had a website. I hardly even had business cards half the time. <laughs> this is too much to keep up with. Ron, um, that master cast is pretty thick. I would say it's thicker than Art and Glow.
Megan, we've done a fire piece. Jeff's gonna do another one. I soon. keep forgetting about that. I might do that tonight. I might maybe I might, tonight. I might throw a an extra pour in there. Because I have this. I have this little starburst thing that I could probably just fill in a little bit more black. Mm-hmm. And use that after you get done doing yours. Beyond, you could sell the resin art that you're putting out right now. You never know, especially with resin, since it's it's art, it's subjective, it's interpretive. You'll never know what someone may like until you just put it out there. I've had pieces that we put up for sale that I'm like, this is going to sell yesterday. It's going to be gone. It's money in the bank. And we still have it. These are the colors that I made. But we I'm put excited. pieces up for sale that... I was like, we're just gonna take this because I have a little bit of room left. It's gonna be a space filler and it's the first to go. So I would just make everything available. Nancy, that's a little bit more expensive for the coasters than what we have. It cost us probably $20 for the coasters, including shipping. 44 is double probably what we paid. That's so weird how this smells when you mix paint into it. Amy, you can resin over pretty much anything. Um, was her ocean painting an oil painting? Deb, I would definitely have some pieces ready to put up on a website before starting a website. You have to have content. Ideas to desk because he's all about the business. Well, one of my degrees is in business. That's awesome, Margot. Laura wants to know how they liked your beautiful Jesus piece. They loved it. They truly, truly loved it. That's a good idea, Sheila. Christy said, I'm having a lot of trouble holding back and not creating mud. Any suggestions? Are you doing acrylic pours or resin pours? Are you doing a lot? Are you, are you messing with it a lot? 31 magnets. Congratulations, Nancy. That's a lot of work. I'm sure they turned out lovely. Oh, ideas. That's what I wanted to tell you. Uh, I love the idea of your daughter making magnets for... Uh, for the school lockers, brilliant idea, something that little kids would love and they would totally do it. Go to Michael's and go in the cooking section, and sometimes they have them on the end caps, like the end aisles, and there's little, uh, little mustache, little uh, diamond, little, uh, like little wrestling masks, like awesome, just little molds. Have her mix some colors, some awesome, crazy colors, pour those in there, so it'll be an amazing design. It'll be all her own color picking, and it'll turn out perfect. Or she can do the little canvases. That's all her thing, too, but a perfect shape and a perfect outcome, she'll sell, she'll sell them all day long. Just stick a little magnet on the back of it, super glue. It'll be perfect. Good to go. Have y'all, I use GoDaddy for my domain and web hosting. They're not that expensive, but they're not cheap either. However, they have like a storefront building program that helps you to like post all of your for sale stuff, as well as have a gallery and a blog if you want. It's great, in my opinion. 
Laura, a lava pour would be bananas. That's what I keep, I haven't even screenshot. I watch videos, when I go to bed, I watch, I've been watching a lot of the videos that people post from Hawaii, and it's, I screenshot like two of an up view of, uh, of the lava, and I'm, I'm gonna do a lava pour. What's up, Amber? Greg, no, we haven't figured out what we're gonna do on the triangles or the hexagons. Oh, the hexagons are... I still wanna waste them. Like, I think I might do a Wu-Tang on that. I have to do some artwork on that. Hey, Kelly, hey, TJ. How much was GoDaddy? Um, it probably cost me about maybe three fifty a year, but that includes the website, the hosting, the storefront, the email addresses, calendar syncing, the domain name. This is that brown I like. Just almost red. What is a bubble pour? I have no idea, Barbara. Bubble wrap? A bubble wrap pour? I don't know. Look at that. People are crazy. <laughs> All right, so what am I going to do here? Hi, Roxette. What's up, Tasty? All right. I think I got some trash up in there. Bottle bottom pour. Kelly, I'm sorry you're dealing with a crazy neighbor, but full disclosure, we love watching crazy neighbor YouTube videos. <laughs> They're amazing. Feel better, Tammy. I wish Shell Shack delivered and it was as good as when it's in there. Have you seen the Crazy Neighbor videos with Billy? I'm not sure. Is he like a redneck? Is he a redneck? I think those are fake. I do love the, the crazy uh, drunk carpenter. It's pretty funny. What's up, Ann? She said, all gets quiet when Jeff starts to pour. <laughs> Y'all are great. Pool party art sale. Come on over, Denise. Joan said, how do you know when you're at a redneck picnic? How's that? I have no idea. It's a she, I'll send the link to you. Perfect.
Sheila said, thanks, Jeff, for this style. The one I created using the black and white is the one that's sold today. That's awesome, Keisha. I'm afraid this is going to be too... Heat gun, propane torch, hair dryer, all the above. Megan, it depends on what you're trying to do. A heat gun will pop the bubbles and give some movement, whereas a torch just pops the bubbles and doesn't create movement. So it's up to you. Just pouring that on there is telling up. That's weird. I don't know if I'm gonna like these these paints. No, I haven't seen that. Erica Lee said, have you seen the video of the lady taking dirt from the other side of the fence? We haven't, but I feel like that would be an amazing video. What, um, what is that green? It's made up. Thank you, Lisa. Did the teal color have silicone in it? Cora, I have no. temporarily given up on all things silicone -y until I figure out how to work with Resi Blast without creating a mess for myself. Um, I'm not using silicone. All these colors are way too transparent. Like, way too transparent. Eve, they do not bleed like alcohol inks. Alcohol with resin creates that dispersion that makes it bloom out a little bit. Um, if you drop just a regular India ink into resin, it's it won't do that. It'll just sit there. What kind of, it was just acrylic paint? It's all sitting right there. I should know better. That's a good idea, Laura. That's awesome, Sheila. I bet Judy could plan out a pour I mean, plan out a vacation. She has a couple of rental properties in Belize. She's going soon. I wish I could make it. Alas, cannot. Um, to pour on tile, you could, I've heard people having like peeling problems with tiles, so I would just prep it with a bonding primer. Should be good to go. Kelly, I have not poured yet. One day you should do that and just leave it. I'm not saying on this one, but. Turn the heat up, kids. Rob says if you get cells like Jeff and Erica, there's no reason to use silicone. Judy is apparently a Mac. Judy is Queen B. Kim says she loves this piece. Oh, that's awesome, and we will. We will Skype together. Super soon. How smooth making those curlies. Wow, he's really good at that. And 
and it, it just goes right over that, right over that clear. Hi, Lori. I'm not mad at it. Mm -mm. I'm going to try to do that with this brown over here a little bit. I was just about to say you should do the dark color on the other side. But you already know. Lori said, I'm peeling my sticks while I watch. The new batches that are coming out have less of that paper on the sticks. So hopefully it will be easier for everybody. Lori says she loves the sticks. They look great. I'm so glad. Wine in hand. Way to go, Margo. Rod said, Jeff makes it look so easy. This is definitely an odd color combination. <laughs> Happy all yours is in the mail. I know I sent yours out. I'm really not liking that now. <laughs> These colors are just terrible. Like, never use, what is this, multi-surface by folk art. Don't add golden to that. And what else did I use? What is this uh, green? I wish you put yeah. that purple in there. With this. I know, I just don't know what. Darling, do that's an awesome idea. Now I'm going to have to try that. Rod says the one you're working on is very flowy and lyrical. Deb says, okay people, how many would be interested in an ENJ class mid-Atlantic area if I can figure out logistics? Just some honest numbers for now. Thank you, Judy. Well, a couple people are interested, so that's amazing. Look at that. What was it in there? Just. Look at that. That is crazy. And it only did it on this side. That is crazy. I like the, the black and the dark blue over there. Look how big that. <laughs> that 
happens if you're not? Wow. I feel a, a deep, 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 deep guilt coming on. Super <laughs> Like, this is just. Do you want terrible. to love some part of it? You guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are a bunch of pits. Like, right when I put this magenta in there. Oh, well, you guys know what that means. Is that the sound of a super tilt? Super tilt. Do a swipe. A swipe might be cool. Yeah. Let's try a swipe. Do no, you want I that? Do that with this. this is just a waste. It'll be wasted resin. Happy Owl, she just meant a class that Jeff and I would come and teach. It is not puff paint, that is uh, Vallejo. Khaleesi said it's a Franken piece. Oh my God, this is, it's even worse now, guys. <laughs> These colors are terrible. That's, all right, an aggressive swipe. Do you want a bucket to pour that in? What are we going to do with it? Um, it looks like I'm making fudge at the mall. What's up, Tammy? <laughs> All right. Here. She's going to harden. That's what she said. B! This is the first time I've ever done this. That's how bad those colors were, guys. <laughs> Clayson said I kind of liked it. Idea said you're killing me, Smalls. Tammy, he just it, it just wasn't working. You should have seen it in person. It's it was terrible. Like it was a uh, just a disaster. I say. This looks better than what it was. At least it's art resin and you can I know. put something on over it. You want, you want this like smoothing out? Smoothing out. Smoothing out. What are they saying? <laughs> it's saying crazy, single turn brown. That's like your favorite color to make magic. It's just, man, just don't, don't use those, those colors, man. That's just, this, and I thought I've used this before, this, this watercolor. Let's just smooth this out so that it'll dry flush. Christy, there is no curse. Curse? She said, I think I cursed you. Moves down there, just hanging I out. In, I don't believe in stuff like that. Just being mooey. I mean, all you gotta do is just make sure that all the high spots are are taken care of and everything is uh, covering, and you can you can reuse this bad boy, not a problem. With our resin, you can reuse it. What blue is that? Uh, Multi-surface. This terrible folk art. It was a folk art craft paint. Alright, so 
That's just the uh, beginner. <laughs> All right, so that was the warm up. Rod says 98% of my pores end up just like that. Oh, you guys get, got to see a first timer right there. <laughs> right, this is a learning experience. If you don't like it and you have leftover resin, just yeah. start over. You're not going to pour on that? Mm, no, because it's all dirty. What's going to go over that? Well, it's nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to let it dry. Let Media girl, what's up? That's awesome, Darlene. I'm sure it is easier to look at not on the phone, rub it on the TV. You need more. Such teamwork. Gold on gold. That's what we do. <laughs> do you have some of that teal left? No? I do. How much do you pay for your alcohol? It's like $3 for the bottle that we use. Hi, Janine. Kelly, they are supposed to go live at midnight tonight, so... I guess tomorrow they'll be live for international sh stick shipping. Oh. What? The international sticks. The sticks. Why haven't you the poor of late to view this? Um, Jeff didn't mm -hmm. like it, so he reset the whole piece. Hi, Karen. Hope you had a good day. Mary Jane Mixed Media Girl is pretty amazing. Are you just gonna do some gold member coasters? No. I'm sorry, Kelly. Margo just gave us a tip to make the pain go away. Hate wasting resin. Yeah. So sweet of you. Thank you. We don't like wasting resin either, but it is what it is, what it is. Tag a mouse. You're right. It's never a waste. It's always just a learning experience. 
experience. Hi, Sierra. That's awesome, Greg. Kelly, I can't show you what he poured because he scraped it all off. It turned into mud. Samantha said, I don't know how you people do it in the south. It's 80 degrees here today and I'm melting. It gets up to like 110 here in Texas in the summer. I'd die. Well, there's pool parties. There's stuff to get you by. They look fun. Yeah, the humidity gets just out of control here. The humidity is so bad, you walk outside and you're like, I feel like I just gained 15 pounds just walking outside just because it's just so, the air is heavy. I like them. Five dollar, five dollar. <laughs> They're fun. They're real nice and classy looking. Real nice. Perfect. And what? And what was our lesson learned yesterday? Oh, not to leave them on here because they stick forever. <laughs> Um, Tammy, I have accidentally dropped a little bit of spit out of a straw onto a pour before, and it wasn't that much. It didn't really do anything. It wasn't noticeable after the piece set. It's nothing I would stress out about. You are blocking my view. A view of what? Well, it was your shoulder. Hey Sarah, we axed a piece and now Jeff is finishing up the coasters and I'm about to do a pour. Can you see them? They're real nice. Yeah. I don't know, I can't see them. Oh, yeah. You're in there. Trey, elegant. They're real classy. You can get them Target. All right. I'm going to use the those. The those. What do you call those? The paint lifting triangles? Well, I'm going to use them. Like, I sweat because of these soft things. These will be perfect as long as I can stay where I'm supposed to. If you guys are interested in the coasters, they are only $5 each. And you can... Uh, Email us if you like, if you're interested in them, or if you would like some in a different color, you're, you're more than welcome to 
to uh, holler. holler at us um, and let us know. I'm just going to use your cup. Let's get your camera ready, babe. Get your camera ready. Makeup! Makeup ready to roll. Give me the ton of AC on up in this bitch. There you go, guys. She's ready. Action! Mark it. Mark it. I haven't said that in so long. We, I need to get out our tape paper. Um, something. I need some. Maybe I'll do plum. Did you eat? Hey, Moo. I'll just use these guys. Let's go say hi to the people. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> it looked like he was waving to fly. Because he no. lifted his hand up. Moo! <laughs> Oh, 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 love Cujo. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Moo. Uh. Yay, <laughs> Moo, you're such a good big bear. I'm going to turn that AC on. I don't know why I'm so hot. You get it from your mama? Oh. Uh. All right, y'all. So I'm going to use the PBO paints that... Um, about a thousand people asked me about, and I'm just now getting around to trying them. I'm using the PBO Fantasy Moon and the PBO Fantasy Prism, along with some this and some this. Hopefully it will be amazing. I have yet to use them, like I'm going to mix it into resin instead of just using them out of this. And I'm not using the PBO resin, I'm using art resin. So we will have an adventure together and see how that goes. Because who doesn't love adventure time? Nobody. Also, I hope you can hear me. Y'all, I'm only two paintings left from being caught up on my commissions. Commissions are great, but then you have to make it look like something so you can't just sit down and be like, I feel like painting this, and then just do it. Well, you can, but then I always have like commission remorse where if I'm not painting what I'm supposed to be painting, like what somebody already put a deposit on, I feel really bad that I'm not working on someone's paid for artwork. The struggle is real, is what I'm saying. Did somebody give us 20 bucks? Yes. Just a cup cup? A little tiny baby in the cup. Do you want paper or plastic? You sound like a grocery bagger. Sorry guys, I had to get sippy sippy. Were you guys talking amongst yourself? <coughs> Excuse me. So I bought these like... <laughs> I, that's the rest of yours. Oh. Well, that's going to set up like super fast. It's art resin. I got time. Okay. 
Hey, don't get cocky on me. I'm not. I'm just saying, don't. I have a little bit of time. She's cute when she's cocky. That's what B said. I thought all that really just stuff's just gonna stick to the side. <laughs> So I got this uh, prism paint by PBO like four months ago and I just haven't done anything with it. So right now, right here today, we're going to test it together and see. Hi, Christina. Welcome. What it does. 190 people. 190 people. We only got 72 thumbs up. Come on, people. Let's get some of those thumbs up. It no. costs money? No. Oh. Here you go. Um, they want to see the art wall. Um, there's not too much up there. Hey, Liz. You can come down right here. Um, let's see here. This one sometimes offends people. <laughs> but it is uh, It's a piece that I did, and Erica finished it for me with all the... Uh, stones and the dragon dip dick i thought you were about to say a dragon dip 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 y'all this stuff smells y'all like gasoline beat lindberg or no what is done and done y'all deserve it what what is that What smells, babe? This, this. Let me see your nose. It was already doing stuff. Maybe I put too much in here. Thanks, Janet. Comment anytime you want. Step in. Get your get your chat on. Everybody, everybody in here is super nice, super friendly, and very informative. And if we miss a question or a comment and somebody can answer it, they will. And we totally appreciate that with our, with our followers. Thank you, Christina. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. We're 126 thumbs up now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. holding it with his hand like I want you guys to see this dog he's, he's holding it with his uh, he was <laughs> his little treat oh there he goes <laughs> Erica may get a headache smelling those fumes. They are strong. She should put a respirator on. It's not so bad now. We've turned oh, it hold on. on. Somebody wants a... This is uh, one of our first uh, negative pours with resin. You don't have to move, babe. It's close up. It's on two... Uh, Heavy duty canvases, super, it's super nice in person. Like her, her phone doesn't do it justice. Very wavy, very flowy. If you're interested in it, shoot us an email right there. Let us know, we'll definitely sell it to you, package it up and ship it to you. We're trying to buy a camera, people. Yeah, we're trying to uh, get us a decent camera here to that's what um, we're saving for. Yeah, negative space pours are fun. Artful. That's what I was going for tonight. And I just, the colors, I, I, I should have, I should have used 
what I normally use and I was just, I was trying to make a color and you really can't with, with poor quality colors. Yeah, Th is that the kind that we're, Nikon? Is that the one that I? Um, yeah, it's a B. It's uh, If you ever look at your pet's fur and think that would be beautiful resin painting. <laughs> to make Moo into a resin painting? No, Megan, the colors. Yeah, he's got some crazy looking colors. We keep meaning to do an earth tone for. Thanks, Sarah. Is, is that how you say that? Sara? S-A-R-A? Sarah. Sarah. Uh, so Nikon is the best. My ex was a professional photographer. Dad sent us all a bunch of information on um, that. So, here are my colors, and they look like this. Feet water over here, look. What's that? Oh. Just hold your arms out as far as you can, and then they can see it. Um, what is that? Is that nickel? No. Are you in there? Huh? Are you in there? I'm in it. Can you see it like doing stuff? No. You can't see anything doing anything. It's too dark. Oh, well, bring your face over here. I'm like close up on you. I have a lot of base clear on here. You see the moon doing so? See, it looks all moon cratery. Yeah, I can. I got it like right up on it. I think if you want an effect like this, I would use this over. Mary Jane, I'm the same way. My glasses should be here anytime. <laughs> anytime this week. Just keep it where it, where it's at. Maybe bring it in towards me. There you go. I can I can pan out though. The blue is kind of getting lost. Megan, just, uh, just, you know, just run the heat gun over it. Um, says any tricks for preventing the heat gun from getting gun. Oh, getting gunky. Um, well, she doesn't, she's the one that makes the heat gun stick so that I have to hit it with a hammer to turn on the next day. 
because she doesn't wipe her hands off. <laughs> um, but I always have a, a rag soaked in uh, alcohol, 91% alcohol. And just wipe your hands off every time you, you know, you're getting kind of messy so that, you know, you, ooh, yeah. It's like thorning out, but I feel like it needs, I need to... Heat up and blow it. Hmm? Hmm? Did the cat in the hat painting sell? Um, I have one of them left. The long one did sell. The long one did sell. That just square um, this one is still available. Let's see here. That's my light. <laughs> the original one is still there. It's hard to see. Hers doesn't, her phone doesn't focus when you. That's a nice color. It's a nice little 8x8, eight eight, I think. One next to it. Beautiful. Look at that. Let me see that. Pulling a B. What'd you do? Oh, look at that. Sorry, guys. I missed her going... Little prints on us tonight. Looks like a cow skull. Ooh, it does. I would just leave that. I would heat it and then blow it right down the center of the gold and it kind of would marble out. There you go, that's fine. Ooh. You guys see that? What is that other color in there? Is that gold as well? Where? All that. No, that's the moon. Man. But it kind of got lost. Here, I'm going to take you guys off here and so you can see this. That's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know about all that. Life goes. Jeff, you. <laughs> Samantha T said, Jeff, you're hilarious. I adore how excited you both get about each other's art. Life goals. Mary Jane said, I did two pours of memory, memory of my mom. I sent you guys photos yesterday through Messenger. Um, I will check that. I just got caught up with um, email today. Sorry, guys. Back in the holder. Put people on time out? No. Babe, she's, 
She's pulling a me right now. Guilty. Ooh, tilt it towards me a little. Look at that gold. That looks great. Look at that. Ah, I love it when it when it grabs onto something and then it stretches like that. Look at that, guys. How amazing is that? Babe, don't heat it. That looks... All right, do what you got to do, babe. This is what I love right here. Look at that. Oh, my God. Uh, it's a really weird blue. What blue is that, babe? It is Fantasy by PDO. Fantasy? I don't think they could... You have to hold it up close, babe. Oh, I thought you had it, like, in your hand. You can't... Babe, you got to turn it so they can see it. Closer? Can you guys read that? It's real subtle. I like it. What about the gold? It's uh, Artisu Artisu gold. What? I swipe this. That looks great, babe. I wanted more out of this paint. Is that plum? Yeah. 207 people. We broke 200, y'all. Y'all really going to come in like that when we're doing not the best work. I know. <laughs> this one looks great, though. Yeah, that looks great. Let's leave that. All right, I'm going to call it a day on this one. She's calling it a day, kids. We got 200 poor people in the house. The house of poor people. Yeah, it's the first time in probably a year that we've had the AC on. Here, let me see if I can get closer to that um, dragon for you if you wanted to see it up close. There's like so much going on in here. Look at that green. That is wicked. That's one of our first negative spaces. <laughs> Ellen Mack, I'm sorry you feel like you're talking to yourself. What <laughs> what did what what did you say? Uh, what what happened? I'm sorry. And I don't know if you guys seen this one, but this is like one of my favorites too. It always gets it always gets passed over. <laughs> like a little step kid. It's so much fun. This one's fun too. Uh, we sign our uh, 
we sign our artwork with a gold or silver paint pen. Sometimes we sign it on the front, sometimes we'll sign it on the side, depending on, you know, what the, what it looks like. This is one of, one of our acrylic pours with resin over it. That's old piece. You know, I have a light over here. Ooh, got some Dallas Cowboys fans in the house tonight, or what? What, man? Look at that gold. I like the coats there more than the hands. Oh, God, there's an the acrylic pour that we did. It has resin over it. Cowboys all day. There's my, that is not 225, by the way. <laughs> I'm fine. Did you answer what Ellen had a question about, or have you even read? Um, Ellen's feeling a little ignored tonight, I think. And I can't see when I'm, like, walking around, so... Uh, Ellen, I'm here just for you right now. <laughs> Deborah, I've learned not to even ask when Jeff's running around. <clears throat> When he's back, then put it in all caps. New York Giants, come on, Edward, get out of here. Get out of here. Get on out. It's cute. Cleaning off our handy dandy stir sticks for the next four. Answer Bane's question. What, yeah. what, Beyond, what did what did uh, what did you say? I'm, <laughs> Ellen said, "Never mind." <laughs> I'm sorry. When I'm in like show art mode, um, it, it's hard for me to. I didn't see anybody's question, so. The bears, Kenneth. That's cute. Look at those. Let's see. Those are fun. I like these better than the four. We'll see how they turn out. <laughs> That's right, Ken. I am blind behind the camera. Just wait till I get my glasses this week. Sorry, Ellen. You can ask all, all day if you want. I'll, I'm sure I'll see it. <laughs> I, I apologize. Laura, I bet that is a fun day. Niners and the, and the Cowboys. I expected more from PBO. Maybe I just have to use their stuff in there. Easy there, Edward. Des was talking much game, but he wasn't backing it up, that's for sure. All right, I'm sorry, Ellen. She's got to go. <laughs> Have a nice night. Steelers, get out of here with that garbage. Packers girl. Uh... Nope, cancel. Um, Jana, I wiped it completely off the canvas. <laughs> Erica is better at answering. She can see a lot better than I can as well. There you go, Jan. I'm a multitasker. I think I'm going to do a 
geode for tomorrow's pour? Erica doesn't seem happy. I expected more out of those Pepeo paints. What was, what was wrong with them? What didn't you like about them? They were supposed to do a whole lot of magic, and they didn't. No magic in the sky. Yeah. So. A Lucy in the sky with diamonds. I'm just going to have to figure it out. Oh, that looks a lot better. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna do another. Did she use Veritrial first? Veritrial. No. No, she didn't, Lori. Is that required? Because I have some, I just didn't use, I didn't know you had to use them in conjunction with each other. <laughs> What's funny? Do you have to let Pebolo set for it? PBO. PBO. Do more work less. To do more work less? to do more work less. PBO set for it to do, no idea what that means. I have a setting, we'll see how it works out. Tomorrow I'm gonna start a geode. It's gonna take three days to film and show you guys how to do it. So I hope you guys can tune in for all three days. Tomorrow we'll go over how to prep and paint and do the first layer. Then we'll do a second layer, and on the last day, we'll go over adding... How much are your geode and stepchild paintings? <laughs> um, how much is that geode? I don't know. Three? The geode is three, and the stepchild painting is a hundred. Which one's the stepchild? That teal and brown one. Oh, I love that one. I don't know why those colors came out good. I think it's because I put it under white. I think I did white, then the color. I don't know. Okay, these questions are all, this is all geode and PBO and that's all. All right, you guys, I'm here. It's all jargon to me. All right. Puddle pour. I can do puddle pours with you guys. PBO will change as it sits. I had no idea. I think Jeff's about to do um, a fire. Yeah, I think I'm going to try a fire. Jeff's going to do a fire tutorial for you guys. PBO is just a brand of paint. Oh, that does different effects. So this is one that I used tonight. It was supposed to do some stuff. I guess maybe I added too much resin to it. I don't know. PBO also makes its own resin. Oh so I don't know if that's necessary. Um, for it to do what it's supposed to do. Um, I'm going to do it in the evening. So at our regularly scheduled time, 8 PM central. So the same time we started today is when I'll get on to do that. Good to know, Jenny. Thank you. Yeah. Edward, he's about to do a pour. It needs to sit. Thank you, Ellen. First vitriol. Okay, I'll try it again with that other stuff.
Effects only if you don't move it. Oh, I thought you could tilt it. Who knew? <clears throat> if anybody's interested in getting some artist cell death sticks, do that now. So the shipping, we're gonna start shipping to everywhere around the world. So it might take a little longer than normal <laughs> to get your sticks. Well, I mean, they're cut to order, so. We are about to start doing, like, if you want something engraved on the sticks, so. Yeah, personalize your sticks. I'm sorry, Ellen. Didn't care for them too expensive. Yeah, they are a bit expensive. But. The PVO paints. Thanks, Deb. That's awesome, Janet. I hope you can tune in. Um, we've been putting them out every day since um, we started getting them in. So the next batch goes out tomorrow. Candy, I will, I have your order printed so I can look up and see um, when I take them and ship everything, I have like a CVS length receipt of shipping confirmation. So I'll just go through and I'll look for yours. Glad you're still here. Thanks for watching, April. Thank you, Lisa. I think I use a spray paint for the yellow. Um. Did you like the yellow? Because I thought it got like cloudy on you. Mm -hmm. one, I like. Okay, good. So if we missed any questions, just post away. Thank you so much. All right, redemption time. <laughs> I shouldn't say that when I'm about to do fire. That's, that's not very smart. Awesome, Sheila. Um, enough, Cujo. So, Jeff did a fire piece not too long ago, and he's going to try to do I another really one. I, the way I did it, it was just kind of backwards. Um, so, I'm going to revamp that. What do I want to use for that? Yeah, Vanessa, I can ship to Australia. I've had such an awful day and I love watching you both. It's my nighttime relaxing. I'm glad you're here, Marie. Awesome, Sheila. Thank you. Will said, Erica, I think the dragon is upside down and the small canvas should be on the left. I bet you'll sell it if you turn it. What? How is the dragon upside down? The canvas on the left. He's saying put that one and flip it and put it over here. But I don't know since that deep blue continues right here and it's just a faint green over here. So I don't know. No, it's not flipped. Because. I know B. Let's make some resin. Um, Sheila, it is, I believe, 
our address is on our website. You can shoot me an email and I will send that, send you our address. It's thornton at artisttilldeath.com. Two T's, two L's. Rustillium is 30% off at Hobby Lobby. That's awesome. That's early, Nancy. Yeah, April, you gotta be careful. Some resins will yellow super quick. Do you remember what kind it was? Ashley, thank you so much for tuning in and having such sweet comments. Anna Maria, we would love to see your flower um, in resin. <laughs> and just clarify. Kelly Green, it is our pleasure. We're here to help you guys out. I hope you're safe, Linda. Be careful in those storms. Welcome, Snooky Boo. Um, the FW Velvet is going to be a good color to use. I would definitely add gold to it. That's awesome, Asia. Is AC Moore in Dallas? Do we have an AC Moore? Thank you, Sam. Kelly Green just said, I just spit milk out of my mouth, your flower. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I just set myself up for like TLBSS. Yeah, Super Glaze is known to yellow, but it's actually not even the cheapest resin you can get. You can go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's and get use their like 40%, 50% off coupons and get resin from there. And we don't have to talk about it. Um, AC Moore is like a Michaels. I don't think we have one of those. She went to go turn off the AC. We're so lucky in this building. Our, our studio faces the sunrise, and then it goes away. The sun goes away probably around 11 or 12-ish. Uh, so we never have to turn our AC on, and it's always cooler like towards the living room and in the bedroom. Completely amazing. <laughs> Our electric bill is like, I think the highest was like $96 one time. And that's like no exaggeration. I think the lowest was like 60 something. And we have like 1,800 square feet. And we're out of room. And we're on the eighth floor. Did you turn it off or did you turn it down or up? Turn it off. I was looking to see if I had any extra cities, but I think I'm out. Oh, well, I think it's not so bad. I'm just going to do clear coat. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm going to scroll up and see what questions I missed. I told you you were turning off the AC. Thank you, Kenneth. I will try. 
Got a lot of canvases today on sale, 70% off. We haven't, we missed it. Where at? Michael's. But I think those are just the back stapled, like level ones, maybe. I don't just know. Just wait, just hopefully, just wait when Aaron Brothers really has their crazy sale when they close. Mm hmm. We are located in Dallas, Texas. Hi, Terry from Perth. Vanessa, we don't have a lot of our resin art posted on our website. I find that as soon as I post it, it sells. And so it's just a lot. I need to do it. I need to be better about that. So as soon as I get caught up on all these sticks orders, what's up, Laura? Um, I'm going to update the website. My daughter Summer wants to know your Instagram user is right there. Artist Till Death Studios. Kelly, that sounds a lot like my mom's power bill. Nancy, I've noticed that too. He does paint in his mind before he pours. I'm more of a, an impulse pourer. Oh, gas here, Laura, is like, are we in the threes right now? No, the uh, diesel's in the threes. We're at like 268, I think. Beyond, it definitely depends on what size canvas you're going to pour on. Um, I, personally, I think that no more than four colors works best, especially on a smaller canvas. Like anything smaller than like... Probably a 16 by 20. I would not do four colors. Like if you're just starting, I wouldn't do, I would do two colors. Night Jan. Denise still making it with us. That's awesome. What's everybody sipping on tonight, on a Monday night? April pouring outside is not the most ideal, but at least you get to pour. Some people can't even find space or time to do it. So it's not the worst, not ideal. What do you guys use to put prices on your paintings for art shows? Looking for something that won't ruin the surface. Lisa, usually we'll print a card that's about the size of a business card and we'll post it just next to the bottom right of the canvas. And we make sure to list title, medium, size and price and artist so this is what i was trying to think of today when we were talking about it we do have facebook it is right there as well w p w thornton artist till death what what h, h w p w what is that Husbands with poor wives. It's a it's a counseling and what what, what are we saying? <laughs> it's a self help for husbands of poor wives. Yes, <laughs> counseling for husbands, especially in the beginning. We're gonna warn you. We're gonna let you know what you have in store, where your man cave will be taken over with canvases and paint and. And, and all the jargon that you're going to have to learn to hang out with your wife while she pours. We're just going to start doing a commercial spoof spot. This is how it's going to go. Fade in. It's going to be on probably a husband that's like sullen and downtrodden and looking way confused. And it'll just be like the regular late night infomercial type voice and questions 
Are you sad? Did your wife take up everything available on the credit card for pouring supplies? Have you run out of room in your garage because it's now a studio? The kitchen. Has the kitchen turned into... Pack, shipping, shipping and receiving. Shipping and receiving. Anyways, it's a work in progress. It's just an idea. Hi, Alan. Sipping on chicken noodle soup. With a soda on the side. I love soup. Soup is my favorite. I love soup. <laughs> Edward says I stockpiled canvases like a crazy person. Don't even play, Edward. We look like hoarders. Straight up. Soup. Soup. <laughs> Jen said, just got here in time to tell Jeff Austin East Sider's blood orange. That is a good... Cider. All right, let's see if I can do this. Last time I, I did this, I did it. I That's true, did it April. Backwards, I, think. I hope you feel better, Megan. I know it sucks. Well, I don't know personally. I can't say that I know what you feel, but my heart goes out to you. How long does it usually take for acrylic to dry? Phil, are you talking about in a pour? You guys crack me up. Sauvignon Blanc is very good. Way to go, Kelly. Wandering Art said, my husband hated it when I started pouring. He was mad. Then I sold one and he was like, mm, okay. <laughs> Date night. Thank you so much, Nancy. I really appreciate it. I'm serious. We're going to put a commercial together for spouses of poor people. Because we got some male pourers, so we can't just, like, exclude people. It's going to be the funniest thing ever. Like, I'm super pumped. We woke up this morning, and that's all we talked about for the first hour of our day. That's awesome, Mary Jane. Glad you're still here. Karen said, I no longer have a kitchen table. Denise, I got most of the resin out of my hair. I was brushing it this morning, and I'm just going to say that I got rid of some of my own split ends for myself. Everything happens for a reason, I suppose. I haven't told my stylist that I messed up my haircut yet. Sheila said, oh my God, I don't even want to talk about my startup expenses. It is not a joke. Art is my therapy. Try and stop me. Art is therapy. It's for real. Thank you, Clara. Clara gave us a tip, said for the poor wife fund. He did say wife. They're tipping because you said wife. <laughs> Robin, I am a hoarder. I am too. Don't even like, I collect canvases. Jenny said, I'm pretty sure my boyfriend broke up with me because I paid more attention to my crafts than him. Needy mother scratcher. What's Jeff listening to? Um, some EDM music. He's listening to EDM. I have very limited space, but I have too much stuff. Any tips on organizing? Get you some shelves. Jenny took over her husband's office at work because he didn't use it. It's now a mini studio for pouring. Laura said all good artists live in an environment of chaos in their home. This is true, Laura, but now I have a rack that I can keep my paintings in. 
so it's a little bit more organized still chaotic filly fill depending on what kind of acrylics you use like if you're just painting acrylics on something shouldn't take more than a few minutes but you can get um long open time acrylics as well Beyond says, Michaels has a gift card that says something like crafting is cheaper than therapy. And I'm like, LOL, really? Are you sure? I would say they're similarly priced. Anna Maria, I appreciate you showing up and showing the love. You don't have to have PayPal just to show up and show support so i'm glad you're here and i will definitely check out your flower on facebook your resin flower <laughs> laura also drew kenneth we've done countertops Oh no, Candy, I, I have resin in my hair. I should have known not to just have a regular ponytail. B, Miss Erica Lee wants to know how you got started selling your artwork. I think it was in high school, he sold like. I, I, uh, I guess you would say that I, I, I just started painting t-shirts. I had my own little airbrush t-shirt booth and uh, a flea market and uh, and then just kind of started in on uh, bigger stuff more detail I moved here got a job at the West End from Kansas and uh, just started selling artwork in uh, I started copying Olivia a lot of, lot of women's stuff, a lot of, lot of women portraits. Uh, Boris, Frazetta, just copying their stuff and then putting my own spin on it. And uh, in a comic book store, I used to sell my artwork for like $100. Like 30 by 40s. <laughs> That's bananas. Night, Karen. Well said, Sam. April, I just got some resin in my hair from doing what he's doing, but my ponytail like flipped over my shoulder and I just, I did a string pull with my hair. Leslie, thank you for that information. B, next time I get resin in my hair, remind me that I can use foaming hand sanitizer. Night, CJ. Edward, my sister oh. is active duty what? I, I just, I flipped it and a piece of resin rolled across itself. Like a little ball of resin rolled, rolled across. Ashley, we've been doing resin art for probably like seven, eight months. Teresa says, as long as my husband, my husband says, as long as I buy him some fishy stuff with my first sale, he's cool. Sounds like a deal. Hanging with Tony says, my resin art has made me seek therapy. No bueno. Love the yellow. Sorry, Philly Phil, I'll get on my Facebook soon. Uh, today it was all responding to emails and I had to finish a commission piece. 
the commission lit piece with the butterflies. I had to finish that one today, so I didn't really get into Facebook or Instagram today. And what is up with this? I guarantee it's the, the paint that I'm using, the spray paint. Jackie said, does anyone remember the Avena poster shops? Used to save my pocket money in the 70s for them and copy them. Jeff used to copy comic book stuff. Janine, yeah, yes. There's like pits everywhere in this. That's a good idea, Deb. Vanessa said, Erica, will you do a red or would you do a resin with artisu plum jade and bright gold i definitely would i'm also thinking of adding white i would also do that i wouldn't add any more than those four love the glitter but it always sinks in my resin yeah this, this is just getting like see yeah, i spoke too soon that's a lot different than your last one no andrew I said looks good it. do what Layered pour would be amazing. You could definitely use this as a back glow. Agreed, happy owl. But I think we're gonna use this as a background for, for pour. Um, not every day can be a perfect art day. And all you can do is turn the lights off in the studio, get some rest, and then come back the next day and pick up where you left off. No sense in getting upset over spilled resin. Ellen, not really. We don't ever really just take a day off. Right now, we really can't. But we will, once we get caught up, we'll take a day off. I've got some videos I've time-lapsed to post so that we can like have a day of just being brain, yeah, not a vegetable. Yeah. You have a lot of paste in that one, right? Well, and it's with the uh That's awesome, Edward. That looks neat, because that dark that's in there makes that depthy shadow. Laura, yeah, a layered pour. So we're gonna like leave this one, sand it down, and then do a lot of clear and another layer over it so that you can still see this layer and add depth and dimension by putting another layer on it. Alan says, I love it. It looks like fire smoke. It reminds me of candy paint that I used to use when I used to paint uh, motorcycles. We still have those other candy paint colors that we need to... I know. We need to use those again. That was fun. Yeah. That's true, Judy. We do need to pick up on Outlander again. I don't think we've watched TV in like four days. Laura, you made it. I had some people in the beginning of this feed asking about um, Larez, but I think we sent them to the right place. Sheila says, give us a heads up when you take time off so we can make other plans. <laughs> For the days that we're gonna take off, I will definitely post on all the feeds and also, I will post just a time-lapse video on those days. We're going to post every day for 365 days at least. So, I'll at least post a time-lapse video of a painting that we've done and I haven't posted yet. And in that video, I will let you guys know that that's the post for the day. Hope you enjoy it. We'll not see you at 8 p.m. Central. Check you tomorrow. So I'll give heads up. I will give proper notice. 
Kelly said it looks like a firecracker after it explodes in the sky. I dig it. Thank you. Sheila said that looks awesome. Tanya says totally the look I'm trying to get. Faith says it's a Ghost Rider kind of vibe. It is. Jackie started a tiger skin pour today. I want to see. Edward says it looks like all of Hawaii. All right. Happy Owl says, I love it now. Now it looks cool. I thought Happy Owl was needed. No, that was Tiger Cat. Tiger Mouse. Tiger Mouse. Edward says, this is really the only TV I watch. That's funny. I'm listening to Dead Mouse right now. <laughs> Are you going to blend that bread in there? Yeah. I figured. Laura says, looks like looking down into a volcano. It's cool. Denise, you're really going to like Larez. The great, great pigments. Jenny, I have spilled my fair share of paints and resins. Okay, Laura, I can message you. Basically, I was just saying that people were asking about how to order La Res earlier. You guys, Laura Usher is in the house. She is the United States rep for La Res, if you're interested in any of those pigments. The red that's in this and the white are both from La Res. Rod, I've seen the resin fish guy. He's bananas. There's too much red in there. Karen, that is so awesome. Candy, I'm love with Jeff has going on there. Barbara said, that's hot. Kelly said, we'll be happy to come with you guys on a cruise via YouTube live. Y'all, if I can get my resin on this ship and if the internet service is good enough, I'm going to still post YouTube lives from our vacation in September. No joke. <sighs> that red is just taking over. Why did I put that much red in there? Sheila said I'm about to cancel cable because it's the only thing I watch anymore. Rusty said looks too hot to handle. Hanging with Tony said, okay, when Erica and Jeff go on vacation, I humbly offer my videos to cover the time. <laughs> you do good work, Tony. Denise, you're going to be happy with all of those colors. Those are some of my favorites. You should have gotten a white as well next time. I think Simone is doing La Res in the UK, if I'm not mistaken. Judy says, talking about Michael's in therapy, my therapist never gives me a 70% off coupon. <laughs> Judy's in the house. We could do a poor cruise. I know. I'm down, Sheila. Let's just all plan it. I have a booking agent, travel, what is it? Planner? I don't know the words. I'm not wording well right now, but. Laura, Barbara wants to know how she gets in touch with you. 
Um, in September, we're going on our anniversary vacation. We're gonna take a cruise to Mexico, Montego Bay, and, ooh, good catch. I don't even know how that slipped out of your hands. It was my, it was the headphone. Oh. Um, and Cozumel. That sharp cruising with ATD. We're still gonna post. Even when we go on our cruise, I'm gonna have a lineup of videos to post every day during while we're gone, but I'm also gonna try to post live as well. Anne says, I think this is the first time I've ever seen so much depth on video slash photos. Agreed. Phil, um, Mixed Media Girl does have some really good acrylic pores. Happy Owl, this, we enjoy posting videos, so it's not like a thing. We're not getting put out by posting these. It's what we do. It's what we do. We love sharing our lives with you guys. It's part of the ATD fam. Erica Lee said, when you're on vacation, it'll just be a 24 hour Cujo cam and that would be fine. I'll see if his sitter will do that. Clara said, my husband sat down to watch Law and & Order and I asked if he wanted, oh, and I asked if he wanted me to hang. He asked if I was watching my show. I said yes with a big grin. Dun, dun. Law & Order? Mm-hmm. Resin pour from the love boat. Yeah. Oh, Cast and Craft White is good too. And said, that's realistic looking from that angle. Mariette, no, it's welcome. Not, it's not too, uh, it's just too busy. I think you should use that as a first layer. It doesn't look bad at all. I just think it would benefit from a second. Like, I love this, like this stuff up here that got covered up, like underneath. Mm -hmm. It's that orange, it's that orange ink that, that's transparent that makes it look like fire. Idea said, have you had, oh, sorry B. I unzipped the, this. Have you noticed um, a spike in sales since going live? We have a little bit. Um, a little bit, yeah. Well, welcome, green eyes. I'm glad you tuned in. Tony said Jeff moved past fire to a full-on four alarm house burning down. <laughs> I don't know that Simone is here tonight. Oh, Denise is a travel agent. Awesome. When are you leaving for the cruise? It's in September. I think if you get your order in to Judy tonight, you can order Artist Sue. Just make sure you send it you order it tonight and put Judy's name in the code and to ship on this coming shipment. I think it's going out like tomorrow. Judy is in the States. She lives in Texas. Paula Wall says, Jeff, that was fantastic. Well, thanks. It was just an experiment.
This ought to be fun. <laughs> Erica, could you please post exactly what Jeff used for paint and the ratio in each cup? <laughs> when the live feed is done. I missed it momentarily, much appreciated. I sure can, Diane. I can tell you right now. Kim, I will check that out. Uh, he used FW acrylic ink, sassy red, angel white, and that sugar spray paint yellow. How much is Jeff selling that pour for? Are you doing another fire flower? It looks like it. But it's funny because you can see the black underneath. Because I did it half black and half white. Oh, look at those cells. That's fun. Laura wants to know how much you are selling the fire painting for. Oh, what, what is that? Uh? I think it's... I think it's 125. Yeah, it was on canvas, right? Yeah. Laura, I think it's 125. Janine, she is in the U.S. and she does um, right now. I think she has one more order going out to Artisu. Well, one more order coming in from Artisu. Philly Phil said. I have a challenge for Jeff, a galaxy black hole. He was trying to do that, that the other day, but it turned into a flower. <laughs> Rusty said, we love you guys. I tuned into you while we were on vacation this past week. That's awesome. Thank you. We love that. We love that we can turn somebody's vacation into an art vacation. Could you calm down? Resi Blast did leave residue, Kelly. I'll show you guys that when he's done with his pores. Deb, I'm not sure. Janine, I think it depends on what color you want because some pigments cost more to make. All right, I'm ready for this. We're going to do a swipe. Artisu does have pigment paste and they are really good quality, as are Lorez. Laura said, sold, can I have a fire coaster with it? Of course you can. Natalie, Judy doesn't place orders. She, she, does, bleh, she just distributes orders that come in. You still have to go to the website and place your order there. But once it comes to the States, she repackages and sends them out. Deb, I wish I knew about oh. um, the conversion, but I, I have no idea. Laura, since you bought the fire painting tonight, which one of these would you like included? All right, this one goes out to Judy. I don't know what I'm gonna do on it, but she was wanting us to use coral at one point. So I got a coral, we'll do a half and a half, yeah. Oh, you got that. Oh, yeah, you got the coral just because Judy said she likes coral. We'll do a clear on top of this. Right. Absolutely will, Diane. It may be in the morning when I post all that, but I will post it. Laura wants the round one. It's yours, Laura. That looks so soft and beachy. Jeff, for the space back 
ground, would it be best to go with black metallic or cobalt blue metallic? I guess it depends on what colors you're using. He's, you said it depends on what colors you're using, but I feel like if you're going for space, I would do mostly black with like just some like clouding of the blue. That looks like it's gonna sell up. That'll be Judy's new coaster. She's gonna have like all the coasters they can make. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have a pit in that peach, in that coral one. It's there. really tiny. Yeah. That one's doing some amazingness. Fun. Also doing amazingness. Bye, Leanne. Janine, you can absolutely get it just shipped to your address. But then you'll have to pay international shipping, and I'm not sure how much that is, but it's more than if you get put into the bulk order that gets shipped to Judy. And then Judy just charges domestic shipping. So you can totally just ship from Artisu to your house. It's just gonna be more expensive. But it's an option if, if you wanna go that way, it's perfectly fine. Janine, shoot me an email and I will clarify Thornton at artistilldeath.com, two T's, two L's. Janine, if you shoot me or just send me a Facebook message, um, I'll clarify with Judy and I will let you know what she says because I get confused on the whole situation, but I'll ask her and... I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, so once I get on the right page with it, I'll send you that information. Night, Laura. My pleasure, Janine. You're getting another pit in the coral one. Natalie, I have no idea why the request came in in Spanish in pesos. Um, was that with Larez or Artisu? Night, Margo. Kathy, I agree. Judy is a super nice lady. Super intelligent. Super sweet. Larez. I'll have to ask Laura about that, Natalie. Make sure it's not a setting in your, um, something in your PayPal, but I will ask Laura what she may think what happened. Janine Larez is not in the States. It is from Australia and Laura does the same thing Judy does, but with Larez. So it gets shipped in bulk to Laura and Laura ships it domestically from her place in the States. Merp. Alan, your piece is packaged up and ready to go out tomorrow morning. It's already downstairs for 
set for delivery. Nope, set for pickup. Um, I'll ask Laura about that, Natalie. Jackie, you have no idea. Night, Misty. I don't know if I told you, but your shipping thing came through, so you're all good. Your order should go out tomorrow as well. This is a very good point, Candy. Thank you. Laura, I got your, um, I got your payment. Thank you very, very much for everything. Are you making a rose? I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Have a good night, Tony. Look at that. That looks like a beach. I know it does, doesn't it? Which is right up Judy's alley. Mm -hmm. Alan says, is it bad that I'm planning to hang it where I can see it all day? It's my happy view. You're going to hang it in the nail salon? Night, Sherry. Shy. You are so late for the party, but I'm glad you're here. Yeah, Natalie, if you get sent a request, you can't change it from like a business transaction to a friends and family, but. I hope you had a great day, Shy. Are you still taking tests and stuff? Oh yeah, your dog sitting. Are you still doing that or? This is just like, it looks like taffy. That's awesome, Alan. Sweet Pea, he's using art resin right now. Um, That's why I can do all this for so damn long. It has the longest open time of this, the resin that we have in-house currently. The brand is Art Resin. Tiffany, Art Resin is a really good brand. Um, Apparently, Mastercast has some resin that is an hour and a half listed working time. Night, Denise. And um, it's called Ultracast. Hopefully, I can get my hands on some of that soon to show you guys. <laughs> I think because this, I put this, I put the clear down, and this is a gold. I forgot there was gold there's under there. There's gold under it, so it's, there's nothing to stick, so it's just like sliding all around. Mmm. It's all slippery when wet. B! That's what they said. So, Judy brings up a good point. I forgot to mention to you guys that Laura nor Judy make any money off of packaging and shipping stuff out. They do it out of the goodness of their hearts so that people don't have to worry about international shipping. The money that they charge is only going to the cost to ship, which I can tell you firsthand is more expensive than you would think. They are great people for taking their time out of their days to receive packages and repackage everything to go to individual houses. It's amazing. It's very selfless of them, kudos to those ladies for taking their time to do that. That's fine. Deb says, be careful when you de-glove since you have no socks on. Yeah, you need to watch out. Tiffany, let me know what they say about Ultracast. Apparently, Just Resin sells Mastercast, but I don't know if they carry Ultracast. Um, I will find out, Happy Owl, um, where in the States, Ultracast is available, and I'll let you know. That's very kind of you, Candy. 
Oh, they don't carry it yet. I'm gonna see if Aram will send me some of that stuff to check out. Jenny, I'm not exactly sure. I think you just include in the notes or maybe there's a code that says Judy. Let me check on that. B, move your head. Shoot me an email, Thornton at artistilldeath.com. Two T's, two L's, and I will respond with what I find out from them. Night, Natalie. So, for everybody that was asking about the piece from yesterday that I can't find right now. Oh. This is how the Resi Blast piece turned out. Yes, from yesterday. Um, order from Susan at artistu.com.au. And I think just, so go to the website, look at what you want, send an email to that email address and tell her to add it to the group order and it will be included in the next shipment. But I think it's going out tomorrow, so do hurry if you want to be included on that shipment. This is what happens to my Resi Blast test. There's craters and pits and waterfalls. Waterfalls. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's still residue. This is what I love about these. See that? It's not a good look. So in order to go on with this piece, okay, so I mixed the resi blast in and put it and it went bananas it went everywhere but then after i just dotted it into some areas and it turned out really good i'm picking up resi blast as i describe all this um i like this look it makes me want to do an octopus but that residue i'm gonna have to wash it off with like a dawn dish soap and some alcohol you can see the pits right here I did it exactly as it said on the bottle, and it still <clears throat> hit it up and left that weird, sorry, slimy residue. So it does leave good effects. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do some more research on how to better control it. And so at this point, you just have to like take some Dawn dish soap since it de it's a degreaser and wash the painting off and then sand it and then wipe it down with alcohol and hopefully that will get every bit of residue off. Thank you, Shy. Um, so that it can... Did you show Judy her? I showed Judy her coral. Oh, her coral reef. It's the beginning of a coral Laura said, thanks, Jeff, for doing the fire pour. It will be going to a nurse I work with who is from the area where the volcano is going off. She will be thrilled with it. That's amazing, Laura. It's awesome. So Not tomorrow. I'll give everyone a week. Okay. You have one week to order from Artisu. I'm show them just, uh, how this looks. Like, these are our stir sticks. So when, when some of the, like, the resin will get into the lettering and you get like different colored lettering. How fun is that? Mm -hmm. Is it too dark in here for them to see that? No, they can see it. Um, Tiffany, I thought you had to order the artist suit by tonight, but Laura said that, nope. Judy said that you have a week, so disregard the order by tonight warning. You have a week. Bye, Clara. Thank you so much for everything tonight. Bye, Jenny. It does look volcano-y, doesn't it? Night, Alan. All right, y'all. We are about to call it a night. Thank you so much for tuning in, checking out what we have going on. Shy, I'm sorry that we had already done all the pours for tonight, but honestly, all you missed was some learning experiences, the fails, and how to come back from them. Um, we appreciate everything that you guys do for us. I can't, there's no words for all the love that we appreciate from you guys. You're our ATD fam 
And it wouldn't be the same without each and every one of you tuning in and checking on us every day. Cujo says hi to everybody. Did you say hi? Did you hear something? Oh, you did. It was it ATD fam? Was it? Was it ATD fam? It was. I know it. Such a good boy. Um, I, we will be back tomorrow. If you send me an email, I will answer it. I'm going to get caught up on my hashtag ATDART on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all the things. So I will respond to those tomorrow. The geode will be going up in the morning. That, that piece. I have that video done. It will be going up tomorrow morning. Um, what else? What yields? I guess that's all. Jeff is still arting. Little known fact, you can, if it's still kind of setting, you can breathe on it, just kind of hot breath. <laughs> and it'll, it'll, uh, it'll activate it and it'll flush out. Do you say hot breath makes it melt? Hot breath. It's another t-shirt. Makes a lot of stuff melt. B! It's true. <laughs> Look at that, Judy. You got your beachfront property right in your front room. Bam, bam, bam. So, yeah. If you have any questions, shoot us an email. Thornton at artistilldeath.com. Two T's, two L's. I'm all cut up on emails. So, amazing. Um, your stir six should be out. And by tomorrow, I'll have another round of stir stick orders going out because we get our next batch in. So awesome. Um, yeah, we'll see all y'all tomorrow. Stay bananas, y'all. Bye. I said bye.